For such a long time now, the obesity epidemic has been looked at as a negative thing, but this president is really, really committed to solving problems, and this is a great solution because we can solve not only the obesity epidemic, but also the, the energy crisis. We can completely rid ourselves of reliance on foreign oil. The automobile industry really has been behind us. They've been working with us to figure out ways that we can convert cars over to use cellulite as a fuel. It burns very cleanly. You can use a lot less of it and go a lot farther than on gasoline. It's really, really cut down on our CO2 emissions and we're really hoping that people will, people everywhere will really take to the solution. We're here in Washington, D.C. today talking to people about the Bush administration's new plan to turn fat into fuel, America's Fat to Fuel program. Are you familiar with the obesity epidemic kind of plaguing America? Absolutely. We're the fattest country in the world, but they're turning this problem into a solution mm -hmm. for ener energy independence. The Bush administration is actually thinking about using um, human cellulite as an alternative fuel for cars. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> yeah. Dreaming. We actually spoke to um, a senior policy advisor in the Department of Energy today about a new plan that the Bush administration has come up with to um, convert fat into fuel for cars. Have you heard about this? Fat into fuel for cars? Yeah. No, I haven't. It's the Fat to Fuel program. Hmm. The Fat to Fuel program? You haven't? No, I have not they, heard of that one. At first, people were a little bit um, uneasy about it, but once we started really teaming up with plastic surgeons in LA, um, a lot of celebrities have been very supportive of this cause. They're working with plastic surgeons in LA and Miami to actually um, use the, the fat that's being pulled out of people as mm -hmm. a fuel source, a cellulite that comes out of you know liposuction and things like that, and yeah. actually turn it into fuel to fuel wow. cars. Wow. I have to use my own fat? You don't have to use your own fat. You can actually just use, it, it, would, it would be pooled as a sort of national resource. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be turned into gasoline? Or are you saying it's a different type of engine? It's like it's a biofuel. Does that mean we're going to have to continue with our obesity program? That's the catch, is we're going to need to keep America fat in order to have a fuel source for our cars. Wow, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Burger King and McDonald's are true American heroes, and they've really been behind us on this, helping us out. They've been providing french fries to kids in schools for very reduced rates, chalking up the amount of fat in their cheeseburgers to help us really maintain this level of obesity that we need in order to um, have a continuing supply of cellulite. We eat more to get fatter so we can run our cars. That's the plan. Got to be good. <laughs> Got to be good. Got to be good. Luckily, there are enough obese people that they can sort of take care of the thin people. But really, the, the thin people just really aren't doing their country any any favors. Just not patriotic enough. We're really, really trying to fatten them up. They've done studies. And they say that the um, buttocks fat is actually more energy um, dense, more energy efficient than the than the underarm fat. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, if you look around. It makes a lot of sense. Butt fat's better than gut fat. Yeah. My left butt cheek <laughs> will get 20 to 30 miles. My left butt cheek, that could probably get 20 to 30 miles just on my left butt cheek alone. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at my gut here, any idea how, how many miles I could get on this? <laughs> I see you're good for a good 100 miles. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. You look like you're in good shape, so I don't know how far you would go on, on what you've got going on here. Yeah, not, not, not very far, luckily. This country has always been really good about coming together in times of need. We're really hoping that people will put their country first and get on board with us. Would you buy a fat-fueled car? Sure, why not? I mean, if it's cheaper, the bottom line is if it's, if it's less per gallon than we're paying now. Would I drive a fat-powered car? Um... Sure. Chevy's got a great model coming out called the Chevy Cellulite. There's also going to be a Lincoln Lipid SX. I'm already on the waiting list to get one of those completely cellulite based, so that's pretty exciting. Would you buy one of those cars? Just get a push bike and do the same thing. Get a push bike. There's plenty of push bikes now. They're cheaper. And you'll get rid of cellulite and you'll save the save the atmosphere, and you'll keep fit. Here at the Department of Energy, we like to say America's energy future is fat and free. Do you know what today is? Uh, the, the, what, the price per gallon? No, what, what today is on the calendar? Uh, today is the 1st of April. April Fool's! <laughs> <laughs> I totally Dude. forgot about April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> Happy yeah. April Fool's! <laughs> Lastly, I just want to ask you, um, where, did you know that today is April Fool's Day? <laughs> I do now. I do now. I do now. Happy April Fools, dude. Good Happy April you. Fools Day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you for interviewing me.